Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. Uh, it's a type of video that I haven't done all year. Oh, big old sea lion out there. Uh, the Delta of course. But it's a video I haven't done all, all year and actually had some pretty good feedback last year um, as far as this style of video and it's the uh, 30 minute POV. Um, unedited, uh, just raw footage, 30 minutes straight, me fishing, trying to figure something out, maybe even struggling, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this video for a couple of reasons, and uh, I'll explain to you guys the reasons once I put you on the chest camera, but uh, that is the video for today. Um, let's get started. Uh, it is, let's see, just being a little cautious of that sea line. <laughs> Where is he? Where'd he go? Hmm. All right. It is uh, 8.13. We will set an alarm for 8.43 a.m. Alarm is set. And I'm going to put you guys on the chest camera. Hopefully that's a good little view for you. We're on the Delta, it is cold. Finally got the bibs on for the first time all year. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go fishing, see what we can, we can do. I'm gonna be at least talking to you guys the entire time, so if there's no fish catches, I'll try to chat with you guys, give you a couple updates as far as my fishing goes and the year and maybe a little insight to 2020. But uh, the reason I'm doing this video is, is one, I, I, I wanted to do one of these. And I actually haven't, I'm not sure why I didn't do one this year, this 30 minutes of unedited footage. Because uh, like I said, a few of you guys really enjoyed this style of video last year. But uh, I am doing this video for another reason too. And it, it's because I am actually getting behind in my video upload schedule. So if you guys know the channel, you know that I upload every three days. And uh, yeah, I usually will have videos uh, uploaded and scheduled to go live two weeks in advance. So usually when you see a video upload, that is actually a video that was shot two weeks ago. And obviously, you know, that's just to keep myself ahead of schedule and uh, allow me to do the uploads every three three days. But um, I am going to be behind. I'm going to be behind a few things, unforeseen things happened uh, lately here in California. Uh, the Comanche weekend, the other week, kind of messed things up. I was going to get three videos out of that weekend. However, as you guys saw, I skunked. For two days in a row, so only could get two videos out out of that Ooh, little top water, maybe a little striper right there. Um, only got two videos out of that weekend. Um, we have had some really terrible, catastrophic fires here in Northern California, and there's in Southern California as well. But uh, the fires have kept me off the water, and uh, I think a lot of you guys know this, but some of you don't, but I do not fish for a living. I do not do YouTube full-time. I work quite a bit and fish on my days off, so I, if I'm lucky, and I know it probably doesn't seem like it, but if I'm lucky, I get to fish maybe two days out of the week. Tournament weekends are an exception, but usually it's just two days out of the week, and uh, you know, the other days I'm working. I can't get out on the water. A lot of the places that I fish are about an hour to two hours away from me. And, uh, you know, it takes drive time, it takes prep. So it's not like I can just get out of work and hit the lake or hit the river. Not that easy. So the fires, the fishing, uh, poor fishing at Comanche. Um, you know, I was supposed to fish yesterday, couldn't do it because just the fires and the wind and the smoke and to be honest, I wasn't incredibly excited for once to fish today because it is still pretty smoky. I made my way as far as I could inland. I'm actually near Stockton right now and it's still pretty smoky here, but I, you know, I wanted to go up to Berryessa, I wanted to go to Clear Lake and it's way too smoky, way too dangerous to make that kind of drive. So we're here and uh, 
I don't like to get cheap with my uploads. I don't like to do, you know, videos that seem cheap or easy to do. Usually my videos are a full day or maybe even two days worth of fishing. And uh, that is a, a single upload. But today I am going to be doing two uploads from a single day because I literally don't have time to fish again until next week. And that will actually be when I'm in Arkansas. Um, but today's video is going to be obviously this 30 minute POV, unedited. And the other video will be the day itself, which I will upload after this video um, in three days. And you can kind of see how the day unfolds depending on how we do this morning. I really hope it's not a skunk day, but you, uh, you might see it because that's the whole point of these videos to show you the, uh, show you how it works, show you real life fishing, which I do, uh, I do kind of pride myself on, you know, for the channel, I show you everything. Good, bad, ugly, skunks, in and out burger, boat flipping nine pounders <laughs> but uh that's the reality of the channel now kind of speaking back to the uh the trip the travel i will be traveling flying to arkansas we'll be flying it was quite the process actually coordinating a boat and tackle and rods and gear getting it to arkansas as i'm flying but it it seemingly will work out but uh we're going to arkansas lake Wachita. TOC. That's the uh, Hobie BOS Series Tournament of Champions. And uh, that is going to be a big tournament. So we're getting there on Sunday. Going to be pre fishing all week, Monday through Friday. And then it's a two day tournament, Saturday, Sunday. So that's another reason why the upload schedule is going to be a little goofy because, you know, I don't know what kind of editing I'll be able to do while I'm there. I mean, I'll definitely be able to edit. I don't know what kind of internet service I'll have to be uploading videos. Um, but I should be able to get, you know, three or four videos out of that trip for sure. And uh, that should be a fun one. That should be a good trip. So definitely excited for that. I'm going to wipe you guys off every so often just in case. But, uh, yeah, that is going to be the last tournament of the year for me. And uh, hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we can end this year on a bang, on a positive note. Though I will say this year, uh, 2019, has been one of the most incredible years of fishing for me. Especially tournament-wise. I mean, gosh, we broke our PB. Um, <laughs> we, you know tournament season has been incredible everything has seemingly gone right for me and uh, I really couldn't ask for much more um, ironically the, this uh, tournament that we're going to the uh, Lake Wachita the TOC I qualified out here in California they had the Hobie uh, BOS event on Lake Shasta it was the second tournament of the year and uh, <laughs> we uh, I won that one and the irony in all of this is that Lake Shasta was in March and Shasta has all three species of bass. It has largemouth, uh, spotted bass, and smallmouth. And Lake Wachita has the same thing. And from what I have, uh, you know, researched and looked at as far as Lake Wachita, it kind of scarily looks like... Um, Lake Shasta. Looks like it's another deep, clear reservoir with all three species of fish. Oh, there's some fish busting right there. Try a little striper. A little striper. Bet you that sea lion's nearby too. But Wachita looks very similar to <laughs> Lake Shasta. And, uh, I mean, that would just be pretty crazy if, uh, we figured out a similar pattern to Shasta, even though it's like 10 months apart or whatever it is, but uh, I don't know. I am not sure. It'll be interesting to arrive there and see what that lake's about. We'll see though. Looking forward to it. Man, 
those little boils right there, little blow-ups, seem like micro striper hitting bait. We are on an outgoing tide right now, so that's always a favorable tide for me, at least. I'm gonna make a run to the other side. I know it's not far, but we got a fully charged torpedo battery, so why not? Yeah, typically I wouldn't even be fishing the Delta right now unless it was for a striper, uh, which I do plan on doing. Uh, some striper fishing when I get back from Arkansas, but uh, I don't know. I've just never really done good, you know, bass fishing in the Delta. It's the end of October. Uh, just seems to be the time when it shuts off for me and, you know, I'm getting back to the lakes, but we'll see. Whew, it's chilly. It's uh, 42 degrees right now, I believe. So, I probably could have uh, worn a jacket over this hoodie. Wouldn't have been against that, but it is what it is. Last time I was here was about oh, maybe a month and a half ago, and this bank, we just beat this bank. It's like a mile long. We just beat it with a chatterbait and uh, caught a few fish. So let's try that now, I'll see if we can pick up a fish and try not to get the skunk on the 30 minute POV, but like I said, it is very possible considering, you know, it's the Delta <laughs> and uh, I, you know, I've said this before on the Delta, you know, as good as it can be, usually five bites a day is a good day. If we have a good day and get five bites today, will we get one in this little 30 minute window? I don't know. We shall see. By the way, I'm trying to uh, keep this video somewhat entertaining by chatting with you guys and giving you some updates. So, I'm trying to think of some other things I can talk to you guys about. Oh, you know what? Speaking of tournaments in 2020, 2020 is uh, its gonna be a big year for kayak fishing, kayak tournaments especially. You know, we've got a bunch of new series that came into play, especially out here in California. You know, we've got uh, just a lot of tournaments to pick from and that goes for across the country as well. But uh, 2020 is gonna be a fun year for me. It's gonna be, uh, you know, pretty, pretty busy as far as tournaments go we're gonna of course do a bunch of the California tournaments out here and uh, I'm gonna be doing some traveling so we got the KBF national championship in uh, I think it's is it end of March early April I believe and that's in uh, Alabama Lake Gunnersville which has always been a you know a lake on the bucket list for me to fish and it's gonna be a great time of year to fish it I think we're actually there a week after the Bassmaster Classic is there so that's, uh, <laughs> that'll be uh, interesting just because, you know, people will know how uh, those guys catch them and the patterns that they're fishing. So that's going to be an interesting little curveball to that tournament. Um, so definitely going there. Um, going to be fishing, you know what, and I've said this the past few years and I really haven't made it happen, but I'm going to make this happen in 2020. I'm going to go back to Texas probably for a week, maybe two weeks, and try to do a tournament or two, um, but definitely do some fishing. Texas, you know, one of my favorite places in the world to fish. I, uh, I was there in 2015 for work, and uh, that's kind of where I got introduced to the you know the bigger uh tournaments you know the bigger kayak tournaments with the cat series and whatnot and uh actually that's kind of when the youtube channel started to gain some traction i had some really good fortune in uh texas with my tournaments there and uh did well and yeah that's 
really how I started, uh, you know, consistently uploading on the on the YouTube channel, and kept doing the tournaments. And Texas has just always been a really fun place for me to fish, especially you know February, March. So that's definitely on the on the uh, agenda for 2020. Got a few trips to New York, at least I think two trips to New York. We're probably gonna go back in May again because this past May in New York was just probably honestly probably the best window of fishing I've had all year. Just you know, I was I was in New York, which is my home state, and uh, I'm in the Finger Lakes. I'm about five, you know, not even like two minutes from Cuga Lake, and uh, I was home for about yeah about a month and fished probably 15, 16 days out of that month so like every other day I'd fish and with the exception of maybe one or two days it was just lights out every time you know we found a couple of little honey holes and just whacked them and it was so much fun I was pretty much off the water by 10 11 o'clock every day and it was just a lot of fun catching three four five pound fish fat pre-spawn New York bass just a lot of fun, and uh, we're gonna try to do that again. Snagged. Grass or rock? Huh. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> continuing on. So New York, uh, then probably back to California in the summer. Um, yeah, you know, other than those trips, Texas, Gunnersville, um, New York, I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I forgot. So Hobie, the Shasta event that qualified me for the TOC, also qualified me for the Hobie Worlds event. So they haven't announced when or where that'll be in 2020. Last year, it was in Australia. You guys know my man, OBD. He went to Australia. He qualified last year. He had a good time in Australia. But uh, they change the country every year. So they haven't announced it yet for 2020, but uh, that is on the agenda as well to do that event. I'm really hoping it is uh, Brazil for peacock bass. I've heard a few people mention that. I don't know how legitimate that... Uh, rumor is but brazil peacock bass that's the announcement i'm booking my ticket that that minute because <laughs> that would be a lot of fun i think i'd actually do pretty good in that situation gotta get used to those hobie uh that mirage drive though it's gonna be a different kind of boat to maneuver but uh, that'll be a fun one as well and just a you know trip of a lifetime Huh. Guys, I'm a little uh, baffled here. Well, I shouldn't say baffled. It is the Delta. Delta always baffles me, or it does 75% of the time. I really thought just coming down this bank and beating it with a chatterbait, square bill, you'd get a fish or two. But I think we got about 12 more minutes or so before our time is up. So hopefully we'll run into one. Man. Got the old trusty Z-Man custom chatterbait on. Swim Senko trailer. This is a staple. I do feel like this bait, the chatterbait, is one of the baits you can truly throw year-round and get a bite. It's a great, you know, pre-spawn bait, great post-spawn bait, great summer bait, fall, winter. Just a good all-around bait. Mm. 
Ooh. Free bait right here. What is that? Is that a spook? Let's grab it. It's like a nice bait. Coolies are strong. Oh man, I got all wrapped up in there. What's that? Is that a rover? I'm not sure what top water that is. Eh, some new hooks and she's good as new. Back to fishing, and let's keep my net. I'd like to have my net with me. Man, I just don't know what to throw. These do look like decent chatterbait conditions. Wind is gonna pick up again today. It's unfortunate, but I think by 10, 11 o'clock, we're gonna get pushed off. It's gonna be 15, 20 by that time. Hard to fish in those kind of winds. Yeah. I'm we haven't had just like a striper or something. Like I was talking about, whoop, felt like I had a bite there. Maybe. So like I was talking about, when we get back from uh, Wachita, we'll uh, be doing a little multi-species action. Um, I didn't do the salmon this year, just didn't have time. But uh, gonna be going out for some striper and gonna be doing some saltwater. Going back for some lingcod on the coast. So that'll be a little change of pace. And uh, yeah, just, I mean, I guess I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent here, but you know, as far as videos go and content goes, you guys know, like I mentioned, every three days, that's a commitment I made for this year, was uploading every three days. And like I talked about earlier, that's not easy to do. You know, there's challenges for sure, such as weather, fires. I mean, earlier in the year, January, February, we had some really, gnarly rain and just really terrible winds and there was actually one video where i drove all the way to lake berryessa and got there and didn't even launch the boat I had to call it quits and uh, those are days that you know i listen i love fishing i you know it's something i'm truly passionate about but uh there were a few days this year i'll be honest that i probably wouldn't have gone fishing if i had the choice but I needed to get that video. I needed to go out and, you know, stay stay up to date with my upload schedule. And, uh, you know, three video or uh, upload every three days is, you know, that's about 10 videos a month. It's, uh, what, 120 videos a year? You know, it's a, it's a, lot, of, a lot of content. And, you know, trips, you know, fishing trips are not, they're lengthy, you know, it's not, an easy thing to do i mean there's the prep work there's you gotta get to the lake you gotta drive there you gotta fish all day you gotta drive home unload your stuff 
and then you know edit the video so it's a lot of work and uh with that being said i'm on the fence about this but uh the 2020 upload schedule may change not necessarily less frequency but maybe just not every three days like i may upload every four days or just kind of you know no set schedule i mean i i might actually upload you know back to back days there's been times where i've actually wanted to you know release a pre-tournament uh video or a pre-fish video and then upload the tournament video in the next you know the next oh, no we're stuck the next day or the next uh couple days and yeah so that you know just not having a set schedule may give me a little more freedom for i guess time and uh Maybe just uploading a little bit more conveniently for me personally and staying away from some weather conditions that I may not necessarily want to fish in. So that's something to think about for uh, 2020. And with all the tournaments too, all the tournaments, all the travel, it might be a little bit better suited for, you know, for editing. But uh, man, what is it? 8:38. We've got five minutes left. Five minutes, man. That flew by quick. Hate to upload videos without without you know fish catching, but uh, I really put the pressure on myself right now with this 30-minute POV, unedited footage. So what can you do? But uh, man, if you guys are still with me. I, uh, I salute you. Uh, I, I give you a lot of credit. I appreciate you watching and tuning in and listening to me. Listening to me talk. Oh, speaking of fish, oh, that feels like a striper. Yeah, it's a striper. <laughs> oh man, these fish are hard to get. That's a good one too. You know, I'm gonna net them. Make life simple. Get them in the net before sea lion comes and steals them. All right, guys, we caught a striper. No skunk for us. But what I was about to say before we got that fish, which is a very nice surprise on El Chatter, what I was about to say was I appreciate you guys watching this far into the video. Uh, so let's give something away. If you made it this far and you are listening to me right now don't give it away and, but leave a comment below leave a comment below and in a couple days i'll pin your comment i'll do a random comment picker something like that i'll pin your comment and uh you will win a jio mug a thank you sir jio mug for uh you know watching the, this far into the video but uh yes thank you guys for uh tuning in we got three minutes left, so we'll keep fishing, but no skunk, got the striper. Thank you, sir. So, yes, like I said, guys, thank you for watching this far into the video. You guys, you're a champion. So leave a comment below, don't give it away. Don't give away the giveaway, but because you made it this far, leave a comment below. I'll pin your comment in a couple of days and We'll get in contact and I'll send you a thank you, sir, Jio mug. It's part of my appreciation. All right, I'm, st I'm psyched. No skunk, not a, not a black bass, but a striper. Anything is welcome at this point, except a sea lion. Whew, it is chilly throwing the gloves on after this. Black and blue chatterbait. Whew. Graph. We're fishing pretty shallow. There's some grass down there, three to five foot. This is exactly what we did last time. We just beat the bank. 
That's all it takes sometimes in the delta. Just go down the bank, just fish, put your head down, and you'll eventually run into something. About one more minute, maybe less than a minute left. So hopefully the rest of this day goes decently so we can make another, I mean, I'm gonna make another video out of it because I, like I said, I'm, I'm committed to this uh, uploading every three days and I, I just need to get two videos out of this. I have to work the next four days and then right after that, I gotta hop on a plane take off from SFO and head to Arkansas that's our cue right there guys that is our cue that is 30 minutes of fishing hopefully that came out decent okay let me undo you guys real quick hands are a little cold a little frozen but uh, that is going to be the video for today 30 minutes I'm glad I didn't skunk thank you guys for watching as I mentioned the next video will be this entire day of fishing we're gonna probably fish for another four or five hours before that wind kicks us off and uh, that'll be the next upload so as always thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video oh, fish blown up right there but uh, yeah that'll do it we'll see you later